So how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. And we are back on with testing our earth leakage clamps. Have you seen my previous video where I tested these out? You've seen I had an accuracy issue down at the low range, um, one to 500 milliamps. And I believe that may have been due to my test setup. So I've rearranged this initial test setup. I've got just a solid copper bar running through here and that will enable me to centralize the instrument around the current flow uh, and see if that improves the readings. Okay, so we're running on 500 milliamps here on the Mega. Um, this is the instrument that was a little bit stroppy, uh, 506.7 against 496.6, uh, which is probably even worse because I did the original one at 500 milliamps. Uh, let's just drop down to 300 milliamps and see what that gets us. Going on three hundred and three point eight. Uh, that's two nine six point seven. Let's just move our clamp about. No difference there. No difference there. Uh, yeah, say something for it. It's very stable. Okay, so that's those ones. Let's just try our uh, Metroclip 61. Uh, 300 milliamps. Sorry, you're not going to be able to read that very well, are you? Uh, that's reading 296.8. That is actually. Hmm, does float around a little bit, but that is much, much more accurate than this mega. Put it back up to the 500 milliamps, and we have to go back up the range. 0.46. Yeah, again, it's uh, very little movement throughout the clamp. Mm, okay, so we still seem a little bit out on the mega. We'll just do a quick rearrangement so I can get down to the lower test currents. Okay, so we've reset everything. Uh, we've got our resistor bank in series now to cut the current down and move to a voltage output. Uh, we're on one milliamp, which is 0.9937. And we're reading 0.96 on the Gossen. Should be two and a half milliamps. Now to 10 milliamps. I don't know how well you can see that. So zoom into the display is a little bit more, might help out a little bit more. Probably a bit late when you're halfway through the test, though, isn't it? Uh, we're on 15 milliamps now. Should be 100 milliamps. Okay, we'll swap over onto the mega unit. It's 98.5. 15 milliamps going in. 10 milliamps. And final one, one milliamp. Okay, so yeah, I'll put a plot up again so you can see how the results have come out, but still seems as though this mega struggle is sort of round about the, I guess, 200 milliamp upwards. But yeah, we'll see uh, what the results look like. Okay, so here are the two tables of test results. The tests that I've done this time around are all in the left hand columns with the actual reading I took from the U12828A as the cross reference and then the reading from the instrument. In the intolerance column you can see whether the reading is actually intolerance or out of tolerance and then previous test result shows the measurements I made in the last video 
Um, looking at the DCM305E more closely, you can see uh, the actual result, overall result is pretty much similar. I've got five readings that are out of tolerance. Um, the difference this time around is that the, the 100 milliamp I've now got in tolerance, but I've got an out of tolerance reading on the 20 milliamp reading, um, which is slightly strange. It makes me suspect that there's still some sort of an issue with my test setup, unless the instrument just really is borderline. But you can see if you look between the actual tolerances and the previous tolerance, they're all pretty similar. The only one that is significantly different is probably the 30 milliamp, which is 29.925, or the U2182A. Uh, much better reading this time around with only 1.7%, uh, whereas 4.6% previous reading but still just slightly out of spec. Take a closer look at the Metroclip 61 test results now. In the previous tolerance you can see that the 25 milliamp was out of spec with a minus 7.8 percent tolerance. With this test setup I've got a intolerance result so that is a bit better. The very last result at 500 milliamps is still out of spec. Again, if we look at them, there's no real major differences between the tolerances. I guess there's a little bit, 100 milliamps again, was minus 3 this time around, but 1.3% last time. But yeah, nothing, no majorly significantly different, so not sure, not sure whether there is an issue with that TCM305E at a certain range, or if there's still an issue with my test setup. Um, I think what does, I'll knock these out of the way. And I'll just set up what instruments I do have and check what currents are running through them. Uh, we'll just put another table up very quickly. This is meter accuracy. Uh, and these are the meters that I have available to me kicking around. So my most accurate meter is the Fluke 8846A, but unfortunately I've bust that. Um, I had an overvoltage event on it, so that needs to be repaired. So the Keysight U1282A is my next best instrument. In an ideal world to check calibration on an instrument, you need another instrument with at least three times the accuracy of the meter you're trying to test. So I've got 1.2% nominal on the Metroclip and 1% nominal on the DCM305E. So you see with the key sight there, at 0.6%, I am not three times more accurate. It is only the 8846A that I have, um, but I think what I'll do, those are the meters, the Goss in there, uh, and the other key sight. I think I'll chuck all them in together and just see how accurate they are at the 300-500 milliamp range using the SMRT. So we're set up injecting 250 milliamp in through the three best meters I've got and the little earth leakage clamp that you can't quite see down there on the, the bottom left hand side. So that's reading 252.8. Um, light back on you. Uh, so you... 1288A is 248.76, 248.6 on the U1461A, and actually 249.08 on the Metro hit there. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? So, we've got to 300 milliamps there. Unfortunately, what I've messed up with is the U1461A can't. Uh, read above 400 milliamps. Um, so we could take that out of circuit and just use the metro hit and the U128A is the other thing we can do. Shows a little bit out, doesn't it? We're reading 303.4 on the DCM305E. Um, so let's just switch that off. And we'll just take this one out of circuit. Just move the metro head across. Um, and then we can go up to 500 milliamp then. So that's on 0.5. Switch him on. Okay, put the light back on you. So you can see there. Oh, it's DC, isn't it? AC on there we go. So four nine seven five four nine nine six 
Um, we're reading 506.1 on the DCM305E. So I can try the value from the metric hit back in and just see if that brings the reading back into tolerance. But it takes it more out of tolerance from the metric clip because I was reading low. But you can see from previous table that I showed of the accuracy, the SMRT1 there should have the accuracy to do the test and is way more accurate than any of the other instruments I've got other than the 8846A that I've managed to break so I can't use. Mm, yeah, interesting stuff. Um, I think at this point I'm going to call it for this video and go away and have a think. Um, try and get my fluke fixed so that will give me the option of improving the accuracy of the measurements. Um, I do have another methodology that I'm working on that is much cheaper at making the measurements on these earth leakage clamps than this method I've currently got because I appreciate not everybody has an injection test set available to them. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you again in the next one.